Hi guys, it's Jill and Wally, Fox Party of Three, and we're fixing dinner. Um, Wally had caught some amazing reds on the Russian River. And red salmon. Red salmon, reds. And, um, but they didn't defrost fast enough. Um, our son and daughter-in-law have been praising Spam, which is something that I have never, ever, ever really eaten. But they kept talking about it, so I bought some a while ago, and then we were talking on the phone earlier tonight, and they were saying again how amazing it is. So, as someone said, suspicious looking meat in a can, but a delicacy. So we're going to give it a go. I don't have everything that um, my daughter-in-law sent me the recipes for, but I'm going to try to do my best with what I do have. Um, so I don't even know what this is called, actually. It's a spam dish. So we're going to chop up our spam, and she said to give it a good surface so that it will... Um, get nice and crispy and all the sauce will cling to it so that's what I'm doing here just gonna cut it up like that it has a peculiar odor I will say that <laughs> <laughs> did you eat spam growing up yeah my, my mom fed me a lot of spam sandwiches uh, we kind of lived on a shoestring budget so a lot of my school lunches had spam sandwiches, and I kind of got to the point where I despise spam. Oh, no. But then, in my military travels, um, I served with some guys from Hawaii from time to time. And over in Hawaii, if you're familiar with that, they truly love spam over there. So, uh, yeah, I, I think it's all in what you do with it and, and what you grew up with. But it seems to be a nice dish with rice. So, oh, there's our pantry, by the way. We, we added a fourth shelf uh, to our pantry. Uh, Arctic Fox sends you three. We got with the manufacturer through our dealer and got an extra shelf. And probably could have used one more. So, um, yeah, there, it, it helps to have that, that, that fourth um, rack in there. All right, so... I'm just going to put a little oil in the pan and get that heated up and add the spam to it. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and get the rice going. Now, I will say I've had a lot of trouble cooking rice. Um, the propane burns so hot. So under normal circumstances, if you're following the recipe, um, it seems to make the water go away a lot faster than the rice is cooked. So I've added another cup of water to what it called for, and I'm hoping that will make the difference. Otherwise, we'll still have crunchy or soggy rice. It just depends on which way it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this and get that frying. And she said I want to have a nice, crispy, golden color to the spam. So we'll just let that cook and check back in with you when I have reached that part. And a few notes uh, from me and a little bit of humor. Um, I, when I film, I don't do very good. My fingers get in the way and I'm a mouth breather. So if you hear some uh, heavy <laughs> panting in the back, that's just me trying to live. Uh, and Jill has a habit of always leaving all her cabinets open when she cooks. So... That's always a safety risk for, for bumping into a cabinet door. But she's been doing that for 30 some years that we've been together. So I find that funny. And then as a cook note, I don't know if you saw, but that bottle of looks like a water bottle. Uh, that's where we keep our olive oil. And those are uh, real handy so it doesn't spill while we travel. Yeah. All right. You want to come back to so later? We're filming again. And... Zoom in. Yeah, zoom so in. So yeah, we're frying spam. I don't know how we went from coho red salmon to spam uh, on the menu tonight, but uh, that's how we live in a truck camper. Yeah. And, and also how we live in a truck camper, we may not have all the exact ingredients for a lot of our recipes, um, but Jill is fabulous at making substitutions by uh, her experience and by taste. And everything usually comes out amazing. So, yeah. 
tonight she's having to sub a couple of her ingredients. Yeah, so it called for rice vinegar, which I don't have, and that is a sweet vinegar. Um, I have apple cider vinegar, so I'm gonna have to make do with that. I'll probably add sugar to it to try to absorb that tanginess, I hope, but this may be a bit more tangy than it's supposed to be. But, you know, it's, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. But that, I think, is getting close to how they want it fried up um, to get it to be brown crispiness, you yeah. know, that they want. So I definitely don't want this mushy thing. So I want to keep frying. Yeah. But my mom, she opened the jelly uh, can. It comes you know, usually with a, a layer of slime on it, like a Vienna sausage, and especially when it's cold. And she would just slice it thin and put it on, you know, white bread. And so that, that was my spam experience. Yeah, uh, hopefully that's not. It's looking doing. pretty good. Um, I'm surprised that. Uh, oh, I've, and my water's boiling, so now I'm going to dump the rice in there. And give that a stir. Oh, if you haven't ever watched our videos, uh, you don't know us very well. We, we live in a truck camper full time. If you have watched our videos before, you know we're not professional YouTubers. I'm hoping this turns out. I'm kind of excited. I like trying new things, so, you know, we'll see. Yeah, when we, w yeah, when we do travel, uh, that's one of the, uh, Jill brings up a good point. Wherever we go to a restaurant and they have something out on the menu or something she's never had, that's usually what she orders. She lo she loves to uh, experiment with different foods and different flavors. So I, I I'm 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 more of the fail safe guy. I'm gonna go with what I know. <laughs> Vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Delicious. Okay. Okay. So I think I've got it fried up to the consistency that they wanted. And the recipe calls for, oh fudge, uh, the recipe calls for a tablespoon of um, soy sauce, which I almost have here. Um, by the way, a uh, tip is to, whenever you have the opportunity to get those little packets of stuff, ketchup, soy sauce, whatever, take them. Three condiments. Um, so I'll just add just a bit more, I think. Yeah, just a, a little bit more. And then I'm supposed to do a tablespoon of brown sugar. And then I'm supposed to do two tablespoons of what she called mirin, but I don't have that. And that's what the rice vinegar is a substitute for. I don't have that, so I'm going with apple cider. And I hope it's going to be okay. And then she said to do some white sugar. Well, that's a very heaping half a tablespoon. And I'm going to taste and see how we're doing. And that's making that sauce. And it's getting all caramelized, which is what we want. And we want to cover all of the spam. And get it all mixed up and saucy. That looks good. I wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> uh, Hopefully I haven't ruined a can of spam. <laughs> oh, if you have, ooh. <laughs> Boy, that will really set us back. Okay, I'm gonna give it a taste. And one of the things she was saying a uh, darn about was the uh, the little plastic cap on the soy sauce. So when you buy it new, it comes with a little plastic insert, you know, on, on, on the cap. Save that if you're traveling in your RV and put that back on uh, because it is something that can easily tip over. Oh my God. What? What happened? Mm. That's turning out good? That is really good. Wow. Oh my God. Okay. There we go. Well, I'm gonna love it because it's salty. So there's that. Yeah. She's... But yeah, this, whatever I did with the sauce, perfectly great. All right, so now I'm gonna make up, um, you're supposed to fry an egg. Oops, wrong. Another pan out. That's that's really good. I'm so excited. And then you're supposed to chop up like green onions. I don't have that. Um, 
I can put regular onions on it maybe. Or that, that relish. Oh yes. Oh, we, I bet that's gonna be good. Uh, we bought some onion relish, which I forgot about. Uh, Amish Valdelia onion relish. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna put that in there. Ooh, that'll, that'll be a nice addition. Good, good, good catch, good thought. All right, looks like the rice is cooking. I hope it gets done. I've just had the worst time with the rice. And we're just gonna fry up an egg. Filming now. Mm-hmm. All right, so you want to fry an egg and keep your yolk runny. So hopefully I won't break it. And uh, a little note to, you know, to the view viewer who knows about truck camping, how level did I get my truck camper tonight? Look at that. Look at those eggs. Those eggs didn't go to all one side. They're happy where they're sitting. Yeah, good for you. Yeah, good balance job there. Good, good, good stabilizing, good, <laughs> good uh, leveling. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's like watching home movies. Yeah, sometimes they're home <laughs> movies and boring, but... <laughs> You know, during COVID, mm. well, well, you know, the rice is going to be good. This, this, this was, uh, this was good footage here. <laughs> now, there's better things to watch. Aww. Aww. Yeah. All right. I'm not gonna. Are you still filming? Yeah. Okay. So I'm not gonna salt and pepper because this, this is really salty. <laughs> um, you can do your own. I'm gonna try to flip without breaking and a better grip than that there we go oh no i don't want it to break it broke ah fudge you need me to step in i'm the egg flipper yeah go ahead all right i'm going in i'm, I'm gonna multitask you just have to do it with confidence okay Okay, yeah. but yeah, uh, we, we broke one. We broke one, so I'll take that one. But we're pretty much done here. Jill, Jill's normally the uh, the dinner cook. I'm, I'm usually the breakfast gourmet. So, I'm going to go ahead and plate it. Um, and the, oh, we're going with the good china tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn all that off. Yeah. All right. So it's, I think it's supposed to be in a bowl, but that's okay. This is fine. Mm. Let me give you more rice because you like the rice. I do like rice. And then we'll do a little bit of this. And then we'll do this one. And give me the broken one, I'm fine. It's okay. Get the broken one, it's easier to go. Mm -hmm. Yum. Yay. And, and there you, oh, and then the relish, which is over here on the table. Yeah. Mm, I can't open it. Oh, pause. <laughs> Gotta go for the, mm, the man. Good. That's a good one. These Amish people. Oh my gosh. That's 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 tight. Okay. Okay, we've resorted to tools. Yeah, so this we tried to open earlier. And it's it's seized. So one of the old school tricks somebody told me a long time ago was to hit and spin. And it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work at all. <laughs> Yeah. What about pounding it on the bottom? Yeah. Oh. I thought you like, you know, pound it on the bottom. Yeah. Like that, yeah. And then if that doesn't work, then you run water over Golly. or something. Mm, we nice. might not be having the onion relish. Yeah. Um, still not working. Still not working. You don't hurt yourself. Oh yeah. That's a pride thing. <laughs> Ah, there it went. Okay. 
what would she do without me? I, I don't know. I wouldn't just, have onion relish. <laughs> she almost didn't have it tonight, folks. All right, there okay. you go. So, I am going to give this a little taste. Yeah, I think that would be good. Yeah? I think that would complement. So, yeah, spoon? Yeah. There you go. So, yeah, you can put green, just chop up some green onions and put on it. But I'm going to sprinkle a little of this stuff. And then I'm going to add some Cholula just to kind of spice it up a little bit. And I didn't use Cholula until I was in the military. And there's not a Coast Guard station that's worth its salt. It doesn't have a bottle of Cholula in the galley, so they got me hooked on Cholula while I was in the military. Wow, this kind of, it almost looks like an oriental dish. Mm-hmm. So are you doing your onion relish? And... I don't know yet. I think I'm going to try, I think I'm going to try yours. Wow. That's good. <laughs> it's crazy. It's salty, but tangy, and very, very good. Really interesting. Very interesting. It's actually kind of got some complex stuff going. I think I, I need some of this sweet onion. Um, I don't, I don't know if I do the Cholula, but the onion I think is a uh, is a good, good addition. Well, the Cholula just adds a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of little bit zing type spice. A little bit of spice. All right. I mean, we're this is, and this is a quick meal, and cheap, and cheap, uh, and something you can travel with. Um, with the spam. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been riding around with spam for for a year. No. No, she says, but um, yeah. We're talking to our son. He loves this dish. He said, hey, we'll give it a try. Yep. So he was saying, you know how we were a spaghetti family? Which means that in a pinch, I always made spaghetti. It was cheap, easy, quick, all of that. He says this is that they are becoming a spam family, that this is their go-to. Um, they both have busy jobs, and so this is what they do. And he says that he is really... Loved it. He tried to resist it for the longest time, and now he's a fan. So yeah. we took uh, his advice, and I, I I will buy another can of spam. We will have this again, folks. Yeah, this is this is uh, this is good. So. so I didn't I didn't get the right consistency on my egg, and um, I think I would like it to be a little more saucy. I'm good. You're good. Yeah, I'm good. I we, like uh, sauce. This, the sweet onion. That's a that's that's a nice. Kick. That's a win. That's a that's that's a bonus right there. Um, yeah, that was a that was a great idea. That and the Cholula, just a hint of that little kick. Wow. Yeah. Don't be afraid to try this, folks. Oh, All right. Here's where we are tonight. Out, we're up in Alaska. Up on a. We're on the sis. Sis no, something. <laughs> we're, on, we're on a river. A it, river. <laughs> it's, it's not a tidal river, so it's a glacial river. Um, so there's a lot of people staying right next to the water. I'm not quite that game in case this rain comes tonight, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of lot of folks down here in the riverbed, and we did a little off road to get here. So here we are, water view, spam dinner. Life doesn't get any better than this. Okay. So, to wrap it up, that was really, really good. I'm very surprised. Um, I am adding Spam to the list because it was that good. And um, the rice turned out great by adding that extra half cup to what it called for. That made all the difference in the world. The rice was perfect. And a half cup of water. Half cup of water, yes, um, than what it called for. Leave the rice that they're asking for. Um, which was a cup the same they were telling me to add to do one and a half cups but I added an extra half cup so I did two cups of water one cup of rice and let it cook and it did great
The only drawback to this meal is that there's a lot more to clean up. I have three pans and usually I try to keep it to one or two. So yeah. That's one, one of the things we do, you're like, what is that sudsy stuff? So a lot of times I'll take a, the, the pan and I'll heat the water up on the stove versus turning the hot water on saves quite a bit of propane in the long run versus heating up all six gallons of our hot water tank. I just heat up what we need to wash dishes and, and uh, it's much more efficient. Uh, efficient. Yeah. And, and uh, quicker too. So anyway, so that's it. Great meal. Super excited. And we'll be buying more spam. Yeah. I'm a fan. <laughs> all right, guys. Bye.